visit the Web Africa website by typing www.webafrica.co.za on the address bar. Once on the website, scroll down and complete a domain name search to see if the desired domain name is available. In this example, I will search for Lockchain Testing and choose the .com website extension. Once done typing your domain name, click the green search icon to complete your search. If your domain name is available, you will be notified on the screen and your domain name will be automatically added onto your shopping cart. Also, one thing to notice when purchasing a domain name is that you will be offered an option to buy an additional domain name that is similar to the one you purchased. In this tutorial, for instance, we have been given different domain names based on geographic extensions such as the .co.za and the .durban option to add onto our basket as purchases. Ignore all of these extras and make sure that you've only selected the domain name that has a green icon on it. Click on the red icon to proceed to the next step. The following step regards confirming your order and buying website hosting and ID protection services. In this video, we will only be buying a domain name without any additional services. Also note that a domain name has to be renewed every year and renewal fee is payable each year. Select No for both the web hosting and website protection services. Below that, there is an option to edit the Web Africa name servers. This option basically instructs and directs the domain name to a hosting package you have bought. This means that you can buy a domain name from a different provider and host your account from another provider. Click on the Update Cards button to view your summary and confirm your order. If everything is in order, click on the Next button to proceed to your next step. On the next step, you will be asked whether you are an existing customer or a new one. Select the New Customer option and proceed filling in your personal details as well as billing information. Please note that as you are filling in your personal details and personal information, in this section of your purchase, you are also creating your Web Africa Customer Zone account. This account allows you to manage services that you have purchased through Web Africa and also allows you to purchase additional services. On the security question option, choose your question and below that also type in the answer for that question. This question is for the email password recovery mechanism that is used when you forget your password. So make sure you remember the answer to your security question. If you are purchasing your domain through your business bank account, select the business option where it says individual or business. If you're using your account, select the individual option.
On the domain registration option, you can use your own information if this is your domain name. Or if you're buying it for someone else, you can enter their personal details. The final option is the payment details option. In this section, you can either use a debit card or a credit card to settle your bill. Since I have a business bank account, I will use it to make the payment. So all I do here is to enter the card number found on the front of the card as well as the expiration date. I also enter the CVV number on the back of the card. This CVV number is the last three digits on the back of your card. After you finish, you should accept the Web Africa terms and conditions. I advise you to read these terms and conditions later so you can familiarize yourself with them. But for now, we can tick the box so that we can continue with our domain name registration. Click the next button to complete your order. It can take anywhere between 12 and 24 hours for your domain name to propagate and be visible online. But for now, be happy that you have your domain name purchased. Thank you for watching our video tutorial on how to create a WordPress website. Be sure to catch the next video in our Introduction to WordPress series. If you have any questions about our Introduction to WordPress course, feel free to post them on the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please take a few seconds of your time to like, subscribe and also share the video on your social media platforms. Sharing is caring after all. Thank you.